Welcome in this video where we are going to have some fun with GitHub Copilot. Uh, so in this video we are going to play with uh, uh, with series, uh, for example the Fibonacci series, or uh, geometric series, on arithmetic series, and we'll see if GitHub Copilot can uh, can be uh, helpful there. So let's get started quickly. I will start with a easy story. So let's start with Def Fibonacci series. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay, this one looks great. This function also the n number of the Fibonacci series. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's uh, maybe we uh, let's try to see if we can get a constructor there. Uh, constructor that limits the recursion that to 100 let's see oh yeah this is a decorator we want awesome super great um okay let's try that oh maybe let's do this def test fibo i'm waiting a suggestion from github copilot Okay, so maybe we will use maybe the first five of them. Okay, so we have zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Okay, perfect. Let's try that. As always, I prefer to use a Jupyter notebook rather than a Visual Studio. Uh, okay, this is not defined. Uh, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, import yep, decor or it <laughs> No, that won't be helpful. Okay, we can try this. I'm not sure. Okay. So GitHub Copilot is us usually useful when you don't want to, to search something on the internet. Uh, for example, I, I'm not sure about, uh, I know there is a constructor that does that. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, maybe it's the right one. Maybe it needs to be imported. So I'm not sure about that. So let's just get rid of it. But we, we, we were all, almost there with GitHub Copilot. So I, I will need to, to Google it to, to find the, the how to use it appropriately. But as a, uh, is I don't want to, to to do some googling, so let's get rid of it. And if we test our function, okay, it's working well. That was yeah, that's super easy to to compute the Fibonacci series, but we've seen that without doing any code, GitHub Copilot was able to do it for us. And he, he also knows uh, the uh, the first terms, so he was able to test it for us. Maybe you can try this as short Fibonacci series of one hundred. Does he know? Oh, okay, let's try that. Taking some time. If we had uh, used the decorator, uh, it, will not, uh, it would have stopped because the recursion depth would have been uh, too high. So yeah, that's not the best way to implement it like this. Uh, the better way would be to, to implement it uh, uh, not using a, a recursion, so maybe let's do this instead of 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 uh, computing the arithmetic and geometric sum. Let's uh, have uh, def Fibonacci series iterative. So n equals zero. Okay. Else c equal a plus b a equal. B. Okay. Let's try that. Um, def test okay and it should be much more faster okay it's working well with the right answers now let's try for 100 if he's able to compute it
Okay, um, we, uh, we get it in a, in a few seconds. Uh, what we can do, we can try uh, to assess the difference between the two in terms of timing. So time it. Uh, time it, okay. And we will do the same for this one. We'll see if one is uh, much more faster than the other. And if not, we will need to use our higher end values. So, okay, already with small n, uh, this one, the iterative function is uh, five times uh, faster. So testing all these values take uh, 11 uh, microseconds. This one takes 55. We could use, uh, let's say, uh, let's try with 20. And then we'll really see the, the uh, difference. That's maybe still a, a bit too low, we'll see. If that uh, if they can compute it in a reasonable uh, uh, time period, we will use higher values. So let's try. Oh, sorry. Let's try maybe thirty. Thirty. Okay. And we'll do the same there. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, they are taking roughly the same time. Uh, let's let's increase and therefore forty. At some point, we will really see the difference, I believe. Uh, okay, I, I know why, why there is uh, for twenty, thirty, and forty. I was just testing the the same uh, function. So now that we try this, we should really see the difference. I hope the 40 will not be uh, too long to compute, otherwise we will remove it. My computer is making some noise, uh, obviously. Let's stop that and we will try uh, up to 30. Okay, 330 milliseconds. Uh, and we'll see the other one, uh, how long it takes. Okay, eight microseconds. So there is really uh, some order of magnitude there. Um, okay, so at first uh, I wanted to, to to compute a few series. So by the end we just worked on the Fibonacci series. I will make another video working with arithmetic and geometric series. Uh, I really hope this uh, video was helpful to you. If it was, please leave the thumbs up. It really helps uh, with this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and please subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, thank you.